Hello students, in this class we will see DMA, direct memory access, that is a, 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 as it has mentioned here, direct memory access. So what is the direct memory access? It is basically a controller 8257. It is used for fastest uh, data rate in less cycle. And uh, that too is directly from I.O. to memory. So there are three uh, actors in this picture. Those are I.O., memory and CPU. So usually what happens that we'll see when uh, DMA is not being in use or before DMA, we can see the scenario. So scenario is whenever uh, I.O. wants to write some data to memory, what, how it happens, let's see. So when I.O. wants to write some data on memory, what happens? Uh, I.O. contact to the CPU. What CPU does? CPU is equipped with the registers. Registers are temporary temporary memory for CPU. So CPU takes the data from IO, it stores the data, that data in its temporary memory that is called register. Then CPU will transfer that data from register to memory. So this is the way things were happening earlier. Now, what happens now? What we uh, have changed, uh, let us see here. One more thing we, uh, we should see here is that here we require two cycles, okay? One cycle for IO to CPU and another cycle is for from CPU to memory. So this is the thing we need two cycles in uh, without DMA case. Now let's see when the DMA is there. So that is DMA 8257 uh, with memory. So this is direct memory access. We can access this memory directly. It means that we could not, uh, uh, <coughs> we do not contact for any data transfer to CPU means IO will not contact when IO would like to would write the data to the memory it directly writes data to the memory this is the thing so what will happen IO will uh, IO can write data directly to memory either it can write data in memory it can retrieve data from memory so both things can happen without the involvement of CPU, this is the thing. So one more thing is there, CPU is master in that case, uh, before DMA scenario, CPU is master and this is slave. So whatever things are happening or whatever data is uh, uh, writing from IO to memory or memory to IO, it cannot be without the help of CPU because CPU is master and uh, memory is slave. So whatever ha is happening between these two are happening through the CPU. This is the thing. Now here what is happening? Here the master and slave concepts are reversed. How it can be reversed? Now CPU will no more master. Now CPU is slave and your memory is master or DMA is master. So memory is master, CPU is slave. Now what is happening? CPU you can do other work. CPU can do other work or uh, that time uh, memory independently works. Uh, or independently deals input output devices that are input output devices are peripheral. So CPU is busy with some work or uh, memory is uh, engaged in transferring or receiving data from IO, from mode to IO. So this is the thing. So now when uh, this operation is happening, still uh, memory is has to take permission or has to take you can say access to the bus so there is what is the issue here issue here is the, that system bus okay so we do not have uh, separate system bus to transfer the data from io to memory or memory to io we need system bus system bus consists with three uh, separate buses that are data bus, control bus and address bus. We need three separate buses or we integrate these three separate buses, it is called system bus. So there is issue of system bus. However, memory has rights to send the right uh, data in IO or it, it can take the data from IO, it has right after uh, getting 8257 controller. But the issue with the system bus, because we have a single system bus, Either it can be used by CPU or it can be used by memory and I.O. or it can be used by CPU for other purposes. Okay, so how it can be resolved that we'll see in modes in DMA that we'll see here. 
ओके सो हेयर द वर्क इज डन इन सिंगल साइकिल बिटवीन आयो एंड मेमोरी हेयर वी नीड टू साइकिल एज वी हैव सीन नाउ लेट एस सी हाउ द ऑपरेशन आर परफॉर्म विद द हेल्प ऑफ एट टू फाइव सेवन डी एम एन कंट्रोलर सो हाउ ऑपरेशन आर परफॉर्म वेन एवर आयो वॉन्ट्स टू सेंड सम डेटा और रिसीव सम डेटा फ्रॉम मेमोरी और राइट सम डेटा टू मेमोरी एंड रिट्रीव सम डेटा फ्रॉम मेमोरी वॉट आयो विल डू आयो विल सेंड ए डी आर क्यू रिक्वेस्ट सो इट इज डी आर क्यू रिक्वेस्ट इट सेंड दी डी आर क्यू रिक्वेस्ट टू डी एम ए नो वॉट डी एम ए विल डू डी एम ए विल सेंड एच एल डी रिक्वेस्ट एच एल डी रिक्वेस्ट सो इट विल सेंड एच एल डी रिक्वेस्ट टू सिट यू बिकॉज ऑफ गेटिंग दिस सिस्टम बस कंट्रोल ऑफ सिस्टम बस ओके सो it sends the request to cpu hold request to cpu so what will happen it uh, if cpu is, is not using the system bus it sends the hold acknowledgement to 8257 controller this is the thing now now cpu uh, has released the bus and direct memory access is using that bus to transfer the data between input output devices and memory so this is the thing so this way data can be transferred fastest directly directly means io2 memory or memory 2 io or fastest data rate is is less cycle okay here we need more cycle here uh, we need less cycle okay that is why this cycle is for to getting the control of bus okay so this is the thing with direct memory access now 